All right, let's say that you are starting a new business or you never purchased a domain name for your current business. Today, I want to show you how to get the best domain for your business, the best practices and the things you want to avoid when choosing this all important domain name. Okay, the first thing you need to know when you buy a domain name is that you absolutely have to have a .com. Don't waste your time on anything else other than a .com. We will call these vanity domain names, the ones that are like .awesome or .live or .pizza. I mean, just stay away from anything that's anything other than .com. In fact, studies have shown that the most popular websites are .com. Over 50% of the internet, the entire internet around the globe is a .com. Everything else falls into an other category. You may even see here that the .net is only 4%, .org is only 3%, and this purple section here is everything else. All those vanity domain names like .awesome or .design or .com. Wow, just stay away from those. You only want a dot coms. The next thing that you want to do is make it short. Best practices are between six and 14 characters. And of course, this is going to make finding a domain name that is a dot com that's short more difficult, but you don't want a super long domain name. You don't want to lose your customers. You don't want to create friction between you and them. If you have this super long domain name, let's say your domain name is we design pools for you.com, that's just way too long. So try to keep it short. The shorter, the better. Plus, if you use your domain name as an email address, you don't want to have to tell your customers my email address is Mike at blah, 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 XYZ, WW. That's too much. You just want it to be short, six to 14 characters. It's going to make it more challenging to find your domain name, but I recommend trying hard to find a domain name that's a .com that's also short. The next thing that you need to think about is ensuring that your domain name is easy to spell. Again, you do not want to put friction between you and your potential customers. If you use alternative alternative if you use like an alternative type spelling like instead of saying you know big sky pools you say big sky pools with a z that's that's just that's weird you'd have to tell people every time oh the name of our business is big sky pools but that's with a z it's it's confusing plus you run the risk that they might actually type in big sky pools with an s and go to someone else's website so make sure that it's easy to pronounce it's memorable, it's easy to spell, it's not too clever. Don't say big sky pools with three or four O's. Haha, <laughs> you know, clever, right? You know, because the O's and stuff. No, you want to make it short, simple, easy to spell, easy to pronounce, easy to remember, not overly clever that people get lost. And again, you want to create less friction between getting your customers to your website. Now, at this point, you might feel like you're going to hit a wall, and you will. How are you gonna find a short, easy to spell, not too crazy domain name that is a .com that fits with your business and who you are? And if your business is like St. Louis Pool Designers, and St. Louis Pool Designers.com is not available, then what are you going to do? You could make a different, a completely different domain name for your business that's easy to roll off your tongue and easy to get people's attention. You might say something like get or go or your in front of a, of, of a word, like get you know, your pool today or get wet today, no, maybe not that one, get go, you know, go pools now or something like that. Um, for Silverback Web, we do own silverbackweb.com, but I also bought getthegorilla.com. And so that's available as well, and it's easier for people to remember. I put that on our truck. Think creatively, and you can be clever, but just don't be too clever by putting too many O's or Z's or anything like that. That leads me to the next point, which is don't use hyphens. And this is going to be the biggest temptation, because you could possibly find a domain name like Big Sky Dash Pools or Big Dash Sky Dash Pools pools and you don't want to do that many reasons why here's one what if you owned big sky dash pools.com but someone else owns big sky pools.com again you're going to lose your customers if they end up going there because they forgot to put the dash plus you don't always want to have to explain to people hey there's a there's a dash between there my name of my company is big sky pools and it's big sky 
dash pools.com. How weird would it be if something like um, Facebook was like that? Hey, go to facebook.com. And by the way, there's a hyphen there. It's face dash book. Okay. Say, hey, see you there. It's not going to work. You do not want a hyphen in your domain name. Now, the next tip is to try to put a keyword in your domain name. If your company is Big Sky Pools, there's a keyword in that company name. It's pools. You design pools. You're a pool designer. And so if you can put your keyword in the domain name, but this is further down the list and it's not as important as the other four. And so if you need to be clever and you need to say something like get, you know, swimming.com, then that's okay. Your, the word pool's not in there. That's not a deal breaker. The other ones more likely are deal breakers. Now, once you've come up with an idea of what your domain name will look like, the next thing you need to do is go to Namecheap to buy your domain name. There's a link in the description for Namecheap. They are my absolute favorite place to buy domain names. I've bought hundreds of domain names from them. They're extremely easy to use and and just simple, and those domain names are cheap. That's why they're called Namecheap. All right, so go over to Namecheap and click on the Domains button here at the top and search for your domain name. And make sure you put the .com and hit search. And as I do that, I see quickly that blueskypools.com is not available. I can make an offer. It's probably going to be thousands of dollars. That might be something you want to do. But look, Namecheap is going to recommend .net, .org, and if you scroll on further down here, there's all these vanities, .xyz, .club, .best. You might be tempted to get .best because you feel like you're the best pool designer. Or you might be tempted to come down here and get design because that's what you do. You design pools. But trust me, you don't want to do that. You just want .com. So you might say get blueskypools.com. Oh, well, that's available. Um, but again, you're going to run into the situation where there is a blueskypools.com already, and if you just put the word get in front of it, again, you could lose some customers, so maybe you might need to change it up a little bit. Um, how about get bluesky.com? Is that available? No, it's not available. How about get your blue sky? Um, yeah, that's available, and I could go with that. I mean, let me think about get. Um, how about I just say more blue sky? You want to, you want more blue sky in your life? Um, that's available, but it's pretty expensive. And so you might just play around with that until you find something that's not too clever, that's still short, easy to remember, easy to spell, and will drive traffic to your business. A tool that I like to use that can be very helpful is um, leandomainsearch.com. If you just go to lean, and they're just trying to help you find lean domains, leandomainsearch.com, you can you can put the words, say, of your business, Blue Sky Pools, and hit that search button and see what it comes with. Now, it's going to come up with 5,000 available.com domain names. And and a lot of these are going to be too clever and just Ill, not relevant to your business. But look, here's big Blue Sky Pools. That's That would be cool. Um... You, I mean, you can spend hours flipping through here. So use leandomainsearch.com in order to help you generate some more ideas. And maybe that'll help you find something. I will tell you, this may take a couple of days. It may take a couple of weeks. Don't rush and buy something that has hyphens and Zs instead of Ss and triple Os and, and .nets. Don't, don't do that. Because having a awesome domain name is the first step to driving traffic to your awesome website. Now, the next thing, once you have found a domain name that works, you need to check to see if it has been blacklisted by Google and other search engines. Let me explain this. So a lot of times spammers, spam companies will buy a domain name and they'll flood it with a bunch of inappropriate content spam. They're, 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 they're collecting email addresses, things like that. And Google and Bing and these folks will see it and say, we're blacklisting this domain name, which means we're going to make it unlisted so that no one can find it. They're spammers and this is illegal activity and we're not allowing it to be seen on the internet. If you find a domain name that's available, it could be available because it was previously blacklisted by Google. So you want to check to make sure that it is not. And the way you do that is you can use a couple of websites that can check to see if it has been blacklisted. Again, the links are in the description. So what you're going to do is go to click the link in the description and it'll take you to these um, black 
list search websites. I don't even know how to pronounce this one, but you just hit it and hit sit, type it in there, hit the send button, and it's going to generate whether or not this website has been blacklisted. And look at this, most every single one of these is green. This one I have found always becomes red. It's a host server unable to process. I wouldn't worry about this. If you see black, that is what you need to worry about. You can also come over to spam house. <laughs> Interesting. They're breaking the rules here, aren't they? You can search for your domain name that you're looking for and you hit the look up button and then you'll see that this domain name is not listed in any blacklist database. Okay, so now that you know that that domain name is not blacklisted, you have found the best domain name for your business and you are free to buy it. And so what you want to do is just head on over to Namecheap, sign up for a free account and then buy that domain name. And it's probably only going to be about $12, hopefully, if you're if you get the right domain name. One last best practice, I think, is to go ahead and buy that domain name for two or three or five years. Go ahead and pay for five years in advance. Don't buy the one year option. And the reason why I say that, remember I mentioned those spammers who dump a bunch of spam on a domain name and then Google will blacklist them. Well, what they'll actually do is they'll just copy all that content and go buy a new domain name and then put that content there. And so they're basically hopping around domain names all the time. And I have no proof of this, but I believe that Google can tell if a domain name has been purchased for more than one year. A spammer is likely to buy it just for one year because they're going to jump ship pretty quickly once Google blacklists them. But a business owner is not gonna jump ship. A business owner is gonna stick there for as long as possible. And so I would say, go ahead and buy three to five years if that domain name, just to be safe. So there you have it. Now you know how to choose the best domain name for your new business or website. I hope this video has been helpful to you today as you're seeking to get a new domain name. If it has, I would love to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post videos that help contractors and business owners do marketing online and to grow their businesses. My name is Mike with Silverback Web. Have a great week.